Hello, hello. How are y'all doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kiwana Creates YouTube channel. My name is Kiwana Brickhouse and my mission here on this earth, y'all, is three letters. That is E-I-C. That is elevate, inspire, and create. Elevating you to that next level so that you are inspired to create your own world. Y'all, that's my mission, my mandate here on this earth, right? Today's topic is preparation. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen. And if you notice, let me tilt it down a little. Uh oh. I am preparing. Preparing. Let's see if we let's see if y'all can see what I'm preparing. Okay. I'm preparing dinner. Here we go. Let's tight. Let's make it tight. Preparation. Preparation. So I start if you notice, I started. Uh oh. There we go. I started preparing dinner. Um, I'm making spaghetti, okay? And I'm getting my vegetables. I, I'm putting some sweet peppers, different peppers in, in my uh, spaghetti. I'm going to add green peppers, and I got my red sweet peppers. I got my orange sweet peppers. I have me some onion. I already started chopping the onion, as you can see. I washed my hands. I already cleaned my, my vegetables off. I cleaned it off in some vinegar, um, let it soak a little bit, cleaned them. Uh, and so now I'm just preparing. And I just thought I would, you know, jump on live or jump on, um, turn the computer on, or excuse me, the actual video on. And share, you know, as I was sitting here chopping, I was thinking to myself, you know, in order to receive what we want in life, in order to be prepared, right? In order to be prepared for what we desire in life, we have to do what? Uh, in order to, for whatever it is that you're desiring to come into your life, what do you need to do? I know y'all can't see my face, but you can see my hands and you can see me working. So I just want y'all to imagine what I'm talking about right now. You know, really ponder and I want you to really get in the zone with me. You have to prepare. Okay, you're desiring a better job. What have you been doing to get that better job? Have you started looking? You know, have you put in, put? Uh, did you put your resume together, right? Um, have you submitted your resume to different... Um, Job offers, you know, have you set up an account on Indeed or or whatever the case may be? Um, if you're an entrepreneur, have you started researching what else are you good at so that you can maybe um, step out in faith and open up a new business, right? Because, you know, God has given us many gifts. You know, some of us have been working in the same gift all our life, not saying that he can't continue to use you in that gift. But sometimes it's time for us to branch out and start in something new. So in order to receive that new, what do you have to do? You have to prepare. So that's why I felt like I needed to jump up here and, and encourage you all, as well as encouraging myself in the process of um, desiring a mate in your life or desiring a home or, or whatever it is that you're looking for or desiring or want in your life. Number one, you, the Bible says um, you make your requ request known to the Lord. You know, you make your request known to him. You write the vision, yes, and you make it plain. But then there's also things that you have to do. Faith is dead without what? Dead without work. So in order for my dinner to be um, good tonight, in order for me to have dinner done at a proper, at the right time, I need to what? I need to prepare. So this is what I'm doing. I'm preparing now by cutting up all my vegetables and getting everything in order. So, you know... At the last minute, I'm not trying to put some dinner together. You know, I took my ground turkey meat out earlier, way, wee, 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 earlier this morning. Because I knew that I was going to cook something for, for my children, my babies that's, you know, still at home. And so I said to myself, let me go ahead and take the ground turkey meat out. Let that unthaw, you know. Um, and I'll start a little, maybe in a couple hours, I will start chopping up my vegetables and getting everything prepared for something else i'm making i'm making a quiche and and um so some a lot i'm not gonna put all these vegetables in my spaghetti even though it's nothing wrong with me if i did desire to put all this in there but some of these some of the vegetables are going is going into my uh quiche that i'm gonna make now i'm preparing my quiche early right 
I'm getting my vegetables and everything chopped up early. I'm going to put spinach in my quiche. I'm going to put onions in my quiche. I'm, I'm even going to put a little bit of sweet peppers in my quiche. Uh, it's, it's mainly going to be a vegetable quiche. Um, you know, you add egg and you add, um, you have your pie crust. I took my pie crust out of the, um, freezer and I put it in the refrigerator so it could soften up and, and, um, um, be unthawed when I get ready to prepare it. Uh, so I'm actually right now preparing everything that will go in the filling of that quiche pie. Um, ooh, y'all, these onions ain't no joke. Googly moogly. Um, ooh, y'all, forgive me. Ooh, ooh, woo, woo, woo. So, my purpose in talking to you all about the second meal that I was making, the quiche, is because I th thought to myself, you know, in the morning times, it's nothing wrong with eating oatmeal, cereal, but ain't nothing like having you. A gourmet breakfast, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about just like um, pancakes and and waffles and and stuff like that. I'm no, I'm talking about like a quiche. Yo, if y'all haven't had a quiche, I need you to get with it, okay? Um, last time I made a quiche was maybe a couple months ago, and I'm making a, um, another one today, so we can have it for the week. And so everybody, when they're leaving out in the morning, my daughter leaving out for work or whatever. I'm getting up ready, getting vision ready for school. I can slice her a piece of quiche, warm it up for her. And it's something qu quick, but it's filling and it's authentic. And it's something that she will truly enjoy, you know, with a nice cup of orange juice. Um, so some of you are probably saying, Kawana, why are you sharing all this, all this with me? I'm sharing this with you because it is important, uh, number one, that you prepare right uh when you're going you're having a, a busy week it's important that you prepare days ahead before that week begin so me making my quiche for this week for breakfast is something it's it's me showing um showing myself you know uh actually being a blessing to my family to having something already prepared you know that's actually really better for them and help is basically healthier for for them and myself okay now to all those gurus out here that says okay kawana eggs aren't good for you well we're not getting on that story right now i'm 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 gonna get there okay eventually the eggs may be gone but right now i'm still eating eggs okay <laughs> to all those vegans out here uh i just really wanted to encourage you all on the importance of preparation it is so important that you prepare for everything in life, okay? It's, it's important that you, you know, you work out. You, you want to you wanna have that fit body for the summertime? Well, what have you been doing during the wintertime? Or what are you even doing now to prepare for that summer body? You know, a lot of people, and I'm not knocking you, may go, may go uh, have surgery, you know, to get that taken care of. Hey, if that's what you want to do, God bless you. Keep moving on what you're doing. Just I pray that you know what you're doing and uh, you have done research on the doctors that you're going getting certain procedures done from because, you know, it is what it is. But if you're doing it the natural way, it's important that you be careful um, and watch what you're eating, right? Uh, that you prepare your meals ahead of time, okay? That you have a balance, that you that uh, you work on your self-control, that you stop when you're full. Um, you know, that you even treat yourself to something deserving, uh, whether it's weekly or every other week. It's so important. Don't starve yourself from, from the things you love. I'm not saying that uh, a chocolate, some, some chocolate cake or, or some ice cream uh, in moderation I don't think it's I don't think it's I don't think it's bad for you. I the problem is when we when we overdo things, right? When we don't have a balance in life with things. And so the key is we have to have a balance. A balance, right? And so I just wanted to encourage you all today. I pray that everyone is having a blessed day, a blessed evening on this Sunday. I love you all. Uh I will make sure I upload the final pictures of my um uh, fabulous uh quiche as well as my spaghetti 
so that y'all can check it out. And don't forget, preparation is the key. Love you guys. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you please do so and come back for more and share the videos. Okay, y'all. I got my uh, ground turkey meat over here on this side. Mm. I added all my seasonings, my Italian, my oregano, my um, uh, garlic, my onion powder, my garlic powder, my garlic salt. Um, I use a couple of things, roasted garlic, it's like a savoring herb seasoning. The key with ground turkey meat, y'all, you have to season it right. Just like vegetables, you have to season them right, okay? Vegetables, they have to be seasoned right. Especially if you're someone who's a vegan and you're not eating nothing but vegetables. You have to season your food. I'm not saying it needs to be Salty. I'm just saying season with the right herbs. Hello. Season it with the right herbs. Okay. So I got my vegetables over here and I got my meat over here. And I'm going to let it simmer. I always add olive oil to the bottom of my pan. Or I add it in my food as well. It's, it brings out the seasoning in your food. Um. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this down, I'm gonna put the top on it, I'm gonna let it simmer and keep cooking. So it's starting to brown. It's brown slowly. Get some more oregano. Oh, I also use some Italian. I use some Italian um, Tuscan style seasoning. herbs and this was the garlic um, roasted seasoning I was telling y'all about and that's the garlic powder onion powder even though I put real onions in it, I also have onion powder I so like my food to be really tasty I'm adding a little teeny bit of some Cajun and seasoning not much okay I use my ground um, uh oh my ground pepper. Uh oh, excuse me. My ground pepper. Okay, what else? I'm gonna, after I um, I'm gonna add my my vegetables to my meat in a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Ruby. put my top over it and I will let y'all see the final this is just wanted to just wanted to give you a little something something what I had going on okay part of my preparation I'll go, I'll go ahead and, this is my vegetables I went ahead and threw my vegetables in there kind of like soften them up before they went in my meat and then I'm just gonna go ahead and let this continue to keep cooking simmering I'm gonna add my uh, top to it and let this cook down. Okay, be back with you soon. Okay, y'all, it's coming along. It's coming along. When I tell you that this that this ground turkey meat is like seasoned to the T, oh Jesus, it's good. It's good. Look good. Mm, I tell you, look good. I add something else. I wanted to show y'all. I put some um, crushed um, red pepper in it, okay? Um, I hope I told y'all all the seasonings I use. But it's when I tell you it's it's good, you know, it was something about when I put the top on it and I let it sit and marinate, you know? And I kept it in between, like, right there around a the four. I done turned it um, down some. And I'm just going to let it simmer in between low and one, you know, and so now over here, I have my uh, my bowl. I'm boiling my water. I added some um, Himalaya sea salt to it, okay? And 
I don't have spaghetti noodles. I purposely did not buy spaghetti noodles because I'm really not a fan of them. Um, I'm, I don't know why. Because y'all, noodles, for real, they, that stuff sit up in your stomach for a long time. But what I did purchase, it says Italian's number one brand of pasta. I bought the trio color uh, rotini. Okay. And it says provide steady energy, non-GMO, blah, 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 part for your diet. Um, and it's pasta with spinach and tomato. So this is what I'm going to use for my, my noodles. Okay. And I have to add my, um, sauce. I'm, I'm doing a, um, what is it? It's a garlic tomato sauce that I'm using for my, for my ground turkey meat. It's already seasoned to the tea. When I add the sauce to it and let that marinate and sit and get these noodles going, part one of um, dinner is basically done. Uh, if my daughter want, you want garlic bread or no? Okay, so I'm going to make some homemade garlic bread and that's just getting out some some um, toast and I could, I could have bought garlic bread, but it's nothing, it's easy to just make up your own little butter, put your butter and put your garlic in it. Um, melt it up together and rub it on that bread and toast it in the oven. You're good to go. Um, I don't think I'm not making any vegetables tonight. I normally do full course meals, y'all. I ain't in the mood for all of uh, number one. Um, uh, folks up in this house, they be wasting, and I ain't got time for food to be waste. So I'm making what I need to make. They they will probably eat spaghetti for the next two days, uh, at least a vision will. Um, and, and then I'm gonna start on my quiche. The vegetables are already done. I just got to uh, mix up my eggs with the vegetables. I'm going to add my spinach to it, add my seasoning to it, butter my um, pie crust. And I'm going to put that sucker in the oven and I'm going to let it bake. Okay? Talk to y'all soon. Okay, 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 y'all. I have been moving around up in the kitchen. And actually, my little mini-me, she's been helping me. She helped me. She was uh, cracking, helping crack the eggs, y'all. And she didn't get no shells in the eggs. So, look. I have my egg um, mixture right here. It, it the I have went by a couple different recipes in the past. Um, offline. You know, I just typed in uh, quiche, right? Um, so, but this time, actually, I tried a, something a little new in it. I have Himalaya salt uh, in my eggs. Uh, you know, matter of fact, I think I probably need to put a little more. I don't know if I remember putting it in there. I know I put the ground pepper in there. It, it called for some nutmeg. So I sprinkled a little bit of nutmeg in there. I have four eggs in here. I have, um, what else in here do I have? I have um, some mozzarella cheese, shredded cheese in it. And I have some almond milk in it, right? And I added, uh, melted up a little bit of butter and I poured the butter in there. Okay, now... Right here, I sauteed my spinach. I have spinach in here. I have my sweet peppers, and I have my green peppers, and I have my onions. And so what I'm going to do, and then right here, before I start the next step, I have this is my little pie crust. I put it in the oven for a little bit so it could just, you know, um, they call for you to put it in the oven. I really don't know why, but maybe it's just to bake it just a tad bit. And so what I'm going to do... Next, let me scoot this forward. I added a little rub butter in the bottom of it too while it was in the oven. Just brought it in there about 10, close, maybe close to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my vegetable mixture together in the bottom of the pan and the bottom of the pie crust. Now, when I was seasoning this, I added some onion powder, I added some garlic powder, and some pepper and stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, y'all. If you notice, I'm putting my vegetables in there and I'm gonna spread them out. I should be using a different spoon because this is making a lot of noise, but it is what it is. Okay. So let me actually I'm gonna taste a little piece. I'm gonna taste. Mm, tastes good. I taste that garlic. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mmm, it tastes real good. Anyway. It's good? Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I need some Himalaya salt. Himalaya salt? Mm -hmm. Taste, taste, taste good, guys. Right, so I'm going to put some Himalaya salt in my egg mixture because I don't remember putting them in there. Himalaya salt. 
and I'm gonna stir that up real good. Okay. And I'm gonna pour that over the vegetables. Check it out. Y'all see? Y'all see? I did a good job. Yes, you did, Binky Winky. Uh oh, you help mommy out. Okay. So. And actually, this one called for some flour. I didn't use flour. I just added an extra egg to it. And what I'm about to do is put this bacon in the oven. The oven is set on 350. And I'm going to let it bake. Y'all will see the final product when it's done, okay? Now, my spaghetti pasta... I'm instead of calling it spaghetti because not I don't have spaghetti news. My pasta is already done. I'm just gonna make vision some garlic bread. She's gonna go ahead and eat dinner, and then this is for breakfast tomorrow. See? Okay, y'all. My spaghetti is done. Y'all check it out. Y'all see this big old pot? They're gonna be eating on this forever, huh? Okay, I made my garlic bread. I made some fresh garlic bread with the, for her. I use multi-grain bread. And now I'm taking the spaghetti. Check it out, y'all see it? I'm gonna give her one more spoon. I don't want her to overeat. I don't wanna give her too much. So she has her garlic bread and she has her her beautiful um, turkey pasta. We're gonna call it turkey pasta. Turkey tomato pasta. Instead of spaghetti. Because we don't have spaghetti noodles today. But it's, it's a marinara pasta going on. And it tastes really, really good, y'all. Okay, and so she has her, she has some apple juice. You know, I like to, we like to be a little dramatic in here. She got apple juice and she got a little fruit, frozen fruit in it. And she is about to eat. She is about to eat her food, okay? Taking care of my little binky winky. I'm gonna go ahead and set her down. And I'm gonna let her tell y'all how it tastes. Tell, let y'all, let her tell y'all how it tastes. So y'all, she gonna let y'all know how it tastes. Eat something with the meat, Vision. Everything. Scoop it, scoop it. There you go, there you go. She already said her grace. Oh. You know, you already said your grace, baby. You're fine. You did. You, I, you did, Vision. I said, say your grace when I first came in here. I did. So how'd it taste? Good. Taste your garlic bread for me. <clears throat> garlic bread. It's kind of, kind of like the store garlic bread. The store garlic bread? Because it's a little bit of circle. Okay, break it break it in half. Take your time and eat it. Oh my gosh, why she got to be so dramatic, y'all? <laughs> I want to see your cheese. It's good? <clears throat> okay, y'all. My girl said it's good. If she says good, it's good. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check on this quiche, y'all. I'm going to check on this quiche. I'm going to check on the quiche, the quiche for this week. Okay, y'all, that's the quiche. It's not finished. It's still cooking. I, it's, it has 18 more minutes before it's done. So, uh, I just thought I would let y'all check that out and see how it was baking. Okie dokie.